bottles on wine Picking up skills of every kind Old school thrills and modern frights We're serving up screens for 60 nights From ghastly new to aged gore Two months of chills, who could want more? It's flip-flopped over, double the dread Laugh till you scream, we'll hide under the bed From cheesy slashers to eerie cold Two months of horror, new and old This week, we dive into Oddity, a 2024 Irish horror film where a haunted mannequin leads a blind medium on a path of revenge and discovery. Directed by Damian McCarthy, this film stars Carolyn Bracken and Gwillem, Gwillem Lee, easy for me to say, bringing a chilling mix of supernatural terror and psychological tension. Did this ghostly mystery grip us, or is it one oddity too many? <laughs> Find out on Flick Flops. The Flickety Flops. Flick. Willem, Willem Lee. Flick Flop Tober, Gary. We continue the madness. Flick Flop. Oh, Tober. the madness. Uh, <laughs> boo. boo. Jump scare. Boo. That was, that was stupid. Boo. If you, if you saw that, I forgot to edit it out. Yeah, exactly. Gary, let me real quick give you some rotten tomatoes on this bad boy. Um, this thing is currently sitting at what well, hold on. I'm trying to click for the web pages while we're talking. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the boy. Uh so the critics have this at 96% and the audience has it at 77. So uh this thing is going over like gangbusters with uh the people that frequent the Rotten Tomatoes. With the website. people in, in the know. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Do you want to go ahead and do our ratings right now so we can? A quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional. We don't hand out stars. We hand out poos and TPs, up to five of them. And just to add more confusion, the more we give, the crappier we think the film is. Crappier, get it? Y yeah, it's dumb, but that's the way we do it. I'm coming in uh, hot at two and a half on this, Gary. Two and a half. Interesting. Yeah. I'll tell you that uh, we'll be a little lean. On the paper, I went with 1.5. There you go. On this yeah. Uh, I had this at three. Um, and again, I literally just finished watching it before we started recording. Uh, so it's very fresh in my mind. But I was like, you know. We're not so fresh with the 2.5. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. And, uh, but I was like, let me just revise. Let me give them that extra half. Because I think th this, is a, this is a pretty good movie. Yeah. Uh, you know. I, I, I didn't personally think it was is is great, but I was captivated. Uh, it it was tense. It was taut, as some of the people would say. And so for that, I was like, I'm gonna give it two and a half because this is a pretty good movie. I would recommend this to a lot of people. I would say, yeah, go enjoy this movie. It's got some um, interesting uh, takes, and it's not done in a cheesy way. Like this this creature here is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through, throughout the, the I mean, good part of the movie. And I didn't quite see a couple things. Uh, you know, they weren't complete, like, oh my God moments, but I was like, oh, okay. Well, now, now that's starting to snap into focus. Now it makes sense. Got it. Right, uh, right. Pretty good. And, uh, and I, totally just an aside, but I love the setting for this movie. Yeah. You know, it was just yeah. very, it plays, a, it plays a very nice role as a character itself, the, um, the, the setting. Uh, where it's yeah. at and uh, it's 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 well done so uh yeah two and a half and i think i i mean again i i would i would tell people to watch this movie it's a good movie so what one of the things one of the notes that i, I didn't write any notes but one of the things i was thinking about when i was watching this movie was I, I appreciated it for a few things i thought they did a lot with very little i think there's only like maybe three settings in the entire movie um maybe four i think yeah um there's only about five characters in the whole movie. <laughs> so yeah. you've got a very small cast and a very tight uh, scene set up. So you've got, you know, one that actually has a little bit of uh, the outside to it and the other ones are interiors. So you've got a very, I imagine this probably was a pretty low budget movie. Um, yeah. And 
what I liked about the story itself was it had an old kind of what I, what I was, I was talking to another friend of mine about this and I was like, what I appreciate it was it, it felt like a throwback to like an old, like Alfred Hitchcock presents kind of show or like one of those like old kind of tales from the dark side or something like that, where it's just, sure. it's this kind of, there's not a whole lot to it, but it's got a nice little, there's a nice little through line when you start yeah. figuring out what's going on in it. And, uh, and then there's a menacing thing that sort of pops into it and you spend a lot of time waiting for that to be a thing. <laughs> like when's, when's the wooden statue going to do something? Cause you know, it's going to, yeah. And I, and I don't think it does what you expect it to do. So I kind of thought that was, that was interesting. Um, no, it doesn't. And, and, uh, I'll, I'll say this, that there was a, um, I'm trying to think how to say it without being you. Know, there is a a uh, an interesting uh, an interesting death at some point in the movie. You and I talk about it after, yeah. Uh, that I thought oh, that was pretty inventive way to to for someone to die, and then the very end of this film, um, I kind of saw coming, but I enjoyed it when it happened. So I was like, well, that's if you remember yeah. the very very end of the film, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not a. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it. We don't want to talk too much. I don't want to give anything away about the movie because I do think it's worth a watch. I clearly at one point five, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I think it was just. A, it's one of those movies that I feel like you have to be ready for. Mm -hmm. You have to be in the mood for that. It, if you're expecting like fast, you know, like up paced slasher or like um, some of the any fast pace, it's more of a slower kind of. Yeah, cre creeping movie like it creeps along, um, but, but you're going to really, get there. Yeah, yeah, and I just I mean, I, it was a nice little film. Yeah, for me, it's one of those films like just it in a world where you get lost with so many sequels and other films that are coming out. I didn't even know about this movie, and this was a very pleasant surprise. So yeah, I'd say that, um, and that's that's. It. I mean, I we don't. I don't want to beat it to death, but I just I recommend it. Go see it. it or, I don't know where you were. We watching this thing. It's streaming somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I don't know where off the top of my head. If, if, uh, by the time this episode comes out, if I know exactly where it's at, I'll put it down in the yeah comments below or the description. All right. But well, that's all I got. Me too. Thanks a lot, everybody. Please like comment, subscribe, and let us know if you've seen oddity. And if you have down in the comments, let us know what you thought about it. Thanks. See you next time. This has been a Touch of Madness production. Brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.